Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Eyes Wide Fashion here with another content video. Today's video is going to be by the title you guys already know. Uh, Vasia unboxing. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm pronouncing the name right. I looked it up plenty of times. I watched few videos to see how people pronounce it and the most common pronunciation is Veja like Deja but Veja boom so if you want to see the sneakers that I got from Veja stay tuned for the rest of this video also if you made it this far in the video make sure to press that big old subscribe button down below as well as the bell notification so you can get alerted when your girl uploads I think you guys do like unboxing videos so I'm gonna do a lot more of that I want you guys to also comment down below what videos you like so far of me. I really want to hear from you, the viewers, what you guys like so I can do more of it. So don't be shy and comment down below at the end of this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, let's hop right into the video, why don't we? Alright guys, so this is the box that my sneakers came in. I purchased them from Farfetch. Um, they're the Vea Vasia Campo Low Sneakers. Um, they look like they look like this. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. I got them with the pink V here and like the burgundy kind of like rose pink uh back here and it says Vasia and it also says it here um the sneakers are leather they're like a cream color this is how she looks yes 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 so um i wore these sneakers as you guys can see i already wore them twice um i got them so let's not jump all over the place. I got them from Farfetch, like I told you guys. Had some type of discount, so I got $15 off. But then after the taxes and the shipping costs, they came back up to $162. So that's how much I paid for these sneakers. So your girl got a 41, which is a US 10, just because they do not carry half sizes, which I hate because your girl's not a true 10 in sneakers and things of the sort. I'm not a true 10. I could do a nine or a nine and a half. So my next pair, I will be getting a nine and I will keep you guys posted. But for these pairs, I got a 10. Um, they're super comfortable. I will say that. The only thing is I wish I didn't get the 10 because I have wide feet. As I told you guys before, my OGs know, but like when I walk, like the side of these like kind of like open because they're big. Um, they don't look big on my feet. I'll show you guys right here. Um, but I could have definitely did a nine and a half would have been perfect. But I'm going to try to size down with my next pair because I do love these guys and I really would be getting another pair. Um, so when you purchase the shoes come with this little booklet and the booklet basically tells you about the different styles that they come in because they come in a plethora of styles um and the leather where the leather's from so it's like amazonian um and an amazonian rubber and the cotton is organic amazonian rubber for the soles and various innovative materials such as recycled plastic bottles veja sneakers are produced in highly standard factories in Brazil so they also tell you a little bit of the company in here which is great um I feel like these are a good buy you guys I told you guys uh for summer it's always good to have a good pair of white or cream colored sneakers to go with everything because now I'm gonna wear these babies to the dust um, that's why I have to get myself another pair um, <laughs> and I already know what pair I'm gonna get the same low top but I'm definitely gonna get like a different colorway I think I'm gonna get the one that has like the blue hair and the orange hair super cute um, they're very very comfortable 
highly, highly recommend. Um, they're super affordable for a luxury brand and a luxury sneaker, which I feel they are. One, something is not bad at all compared to like the $700 that my Balenciagas were. Even though I got them for a discount, the original price was $700. I and they're just as comfortable but I personally feel like if you could invest in a cheaper pair of sneakers that's still luxury still gives you what you need I'm all for it so that's it for this video guys um I'm gonna show you a few ways how I style the sneakers here here and thank you so much for watching hope to see you guys in the next video love you all bye